I thought I, uh, my husband and I would do a review of our gear, what we started with and what we ended up with. I'm going to go with one thing at a time and I'll tell you if I change it or if I can. So these were my tracking poles that I kept the whole time. Um, very useful, I love them. Uh, the only time that we didn't uh, use them was when it was like a flat area in in Oregon, but uh, for the most part I use them and very, very good. I use these little bags uh, to put things in, but I found out that I only needed two. I really didn't need this one. This one is also can also be a pillar if you put um, clothes in there, you can make it a pillar, but I didn't need it, so I got rid of this one eventually. Um, I started with thinking that I was going to be wearing these shorts and this shirt for the like hot days and I did that but um, this was still too hot um, this has two layers so this was too hot for me and this was not a very nice shirt I never did like it so um, towards I think it was in um, um, just before we started Oregon, I think, or, or North, North uh, California, I got rid of this. And I saw someone hiking on a skirt. So I got myself a couple skirts. This one was very, very light, and I loved it. It was just very comfortable. Um, those days that were super hot, it was really nice to feel the breeze between my legs. And, um, I have to be honest and let you know, I did not wear underwear <laughs> when I was wearing this. Just because it was so much comfortable um, going party. I didn't have to take my backpack off, I didn't have to go hide anywhere, I didn't have to sit anywhere and be uncomfortable. It was just a game changer. I loved it. Um, so I would definitely um, wear a skirt again. Uh, my bra and my underwear, I, I used them maybe the first month and then when I got rid of all my stuff in Kennedy, Kennedy Meadows South, just before we started the Sierra, I got rid of a lot of stuff and my bra was one of them. I did not wear a bra and I saw that a lot of hikers, women hikers, were not using a bra and I was okay with me and okay with them too. It was very comfortable. Um, my shoes, I wore, this is my fourth pair of shoes and uh, they're okay. Um, we changed our shoes in Manchester? Yeah, yeah. Manchester. And um, I thought that I was going to be feeling better with uh, shoes that gave me more support but I found out that they were very heavy and I didn't like them, so I went back to my ultras, which I will keep. I love them. My pants that I was wearing, I started with these pants, um, but um, I think they were too small. Or they were, I just didn't want them anymore. And I was wearing that blue shirt, if you remember. Uh, the blue shirt was perfect. I like it. Uh, but it was just not looking nice toward the end, and I really honestly wanted uh, new clothes. My husband stayed with the same clothes the whole time, but I, I couldn't. I needed a change. So I sent this home and bought this pair of um, pants that are very, very thin. So they're for, for um, hot weather, it's perfect. But they also give me the warmth. It's just that material that is super stretchy and you can take the uh, bottom of the pants off and become short, so I, I hiked in these shorts a lot and in these pants a lot, and that was what I kept for the rest of the hike. Um, when I got rid of my blue shirt, I got this shirt, and it's it's really nice. The material is super soft. I bought it in REI, and uh, it was really nice. I really enjoyed uh, hiking with this. And on top of that, if I was cold, I got this uh, thin, Kind of a sweater that uh, was perfect also when I was maybe a little bit um, cold. Uh, of course, um, if I wanted a 
if I was too cold and then I would be wearing my puffy. I forgot to bring it here. My puffy, which oh, smells really bad. We haven't washed it on this clothes. So yeah, I would be wearing this puffy, which it was perfect. I loved it because it always gave me the warmth that I needed. I was never cold and it just, you know, it just falls or doesn't have, doesn't take too much um, space. So I love this one. I also um, started with a different um, uh, funny pack. Uh, the other one was just too bulky, too heavy, too, too, it was making me too hot. So I got this very thin, um, a funny pack and I, I used it the rest of the time and I would definitely take this one again. Really nice. The stove obviously, you guys saw, um, used it all the time. My husband initially uh, bought it just to make coffee and to just boil water and he told me that I, I couldn't use it for um, mm, warming up or, or making my, my soup, my, like my nor um, type of dinners. But I found out that I can, I can do it. I, we can definitely do that. Just need to take good care of it and clean it uh, very well after you use it, but you can use it for cooking too. Um, I also got uh, my cup, which I always used it and never had a problem. Uh, I used it the whole 174 days and never had a hole. My husband on the other hand, um, had to buy a couple of them. Um, I used um, my spork and I also wanted a spoon because this is not good for me. I, I don't really like, I, want a, I wanted a spoon. And I also got a plastic knife because I thought it was important to keep a, a knife. My husband never got a knife or another spoon. He only got this, but uh, I thought it, it didn't really weigh that much and it didn't make a lot of space. And, that was my luxury item, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, for my food, I bought this um, towards like maybe after the Sierra, after we got rid of our bear canister. I just didn't have like something that I wanted to put all my food in. I really liked the, the bear canister, not the weight, but I liked the fact that I had all my food there and I could just take it out. And, and get my food out of there. So I wanted a big bag like the, my bear canister, but I never could find that. I found um, these different sizes, but that worked even better because what I did is I just separated the food by categories and put um, the fruit here or the starches here or the meats here. I always had like an organization that I, I knew exactly where my food was and I didn't have to be digging in and nothing. I knew exactly where my food was. So I like that. Um, I got an extra pair of um, reading glasses, which I got rid of it because I never used. I only needed the ones that I was carrying. I was carrying in my, in my fine pack. I bought these um, sunglasses. Um, somewhere, I don't remember where, but I was wearing my other sunglasses that I took and those were prescription sunglasses. And um, I realized that um, I was getting dizzy because I had not used those sunglasses for a long time. So I got rid of those and I bought these glasses, which are very, very important. And I didn't know how important it was until I was in the Sierra and I suffer from snow blindness, very painful. So I suggest you get some good sunglasses. Um, I bought this, what's it called, honey? I don't remember what it's called. called. But it's, it's one of those um, sticks. Gimbal. Gimbal, yeah, the gimbal. It's one of those sticks for the camera. Um, and you, you know, it, it has all kinds of uh, settings and you can open it and you can do all kinds of things with it. And I thought I was gonna really use it and show you guys. Never did it, so cumbersome, so heavy. Um, I would never take this again. It's just something that I would never, I sent it back, that I sent back. Um, this was my rack that I was uh, using 
I can't get um, on the side of my backpack and this was very useful. This little thing would have all kinds of purposes. Handkerchief um, for the mosquitoes, <laughs> for um, sweat. I mean, you name it, it, it was there. When I was too hot, I will, I will um, put it in the water and just wash my face and it, it really gave me a lot of use. So I would definitely take this again. Um, of course, my gaiters that I, I always loved, I used and they were very good. Initially, it was a, one time that we thought that they were not doing anything and we're like, these things really don't do anything. And we started not using it and then we realized that we really do need them because the, the, our feet got even worse. Um, okay, that's it. Um, I got, let me talk to you about hats. Started with this hat and this hat, these two hats. This hat, I never really liked it. Um, too hot. And this was supposed to give me, uh, you know, help me with the mosquitoes. I used it maybe, one, maybe once or twice, but it was too heavy and made too much space in, took too much space in my backpack. So that was another thing that I got rid of. And um, I got rid of this one too. And I got this one, which is even lighter and much better. And I will definitely take this one. What did I do for the mosquitoes after that? Because I didn't want to deal with mosquitoes. Um, I bought this net that I would put it, put my hat and then uh, this net over it. And that was enough. And I didn't really use it a lot. I have to be honest. I didn't really use it a lot. Um, there was a, a point uh, that I didn't even care about mosquitoes anymore. It was just, this was too hot and and I really didn't like it. And, and I just, was just uh, didn't it didn't matter the mosquitoes to me that much anymore at the end because i was just getting too hot um i got this towel which i a really really nice towel it's very small but then when you take it out it's big enough and i used it a lot to go into rivers and lakes um, so that i will definitely take this i really like it um my pillow Oh, I can't tell you enough about this pillow. I loved it. I will definitely take it away again with me. Very small, didn't take much space and light. So I will definitely take it away again. This was my rain gear, which it helped, but I have complaints about it. The tape that puts it together, because this is very light, ultra light, it just, it comes off. And then the pants torn in the back when I went um, sliding down the snow. Um, so the material is very, very thin and it's, it breaks easily, but it helped. I used it when it rained, which was my, maybe three days. Um, gloves, let's talk about gloves. So I had, initially I had some liners, gloves, and that was not enough. So uh, my husband got these gloves in one of the um, hiker box, which were really good. I like them. So I used them for some parts where it wasn't very um, cold, but it was cold. But then in the Sierra, I really had to buy new um, gloves, thicker gloves, because I was freezing. Uh, I didn't think that I was gonna need them, but I did, I did need them. Um, so I would definitely take uh, my two pair of gloves, or maybe just these and uh, the very thin ones, and then get rid of them when when you don't need it. after the Sierra. I send them home. Okay. Um. What else? This was something that I started with, which is my pajamas. Um, I really liked the fact that I could, you know, take off my clothes and put in nice, uh, warm. Um, and clean clothes, that was really nice, but it was not necessary, it's too much, it's too bulky, it's too heavy. I ended up sending it back home and I never used it again. I just went to bed with my dirty, sweaty clothes and got up again and did it again and I got used to it and it didn't bother me anymore. 
Um, this hat, which was my winter hat, it was okay. I mean, it did the trick, but it, I, I wasn't very happy about it. But what I liked about it is that it stayed. I wish I had, a, you know, one of those woolly hats when I was in the Sierra, warm hats, but it's just too thick and too bulky, so I didn't, I didn't take, I, I took this one and I will take this one again. My barfer, which is not, this is not the one that I took, but it was one similar to it. I lost the other one. Uh, what I would do is I would just put this uh, on top of my hat and help it to stay in place because this will come up. Very useful. This was very useful also. Um, this is something that I bought uh, when I was in the Sierra because my feet were getting wet and I didn't like that in the snow. And this is definitely something that I will take again because it helped me keep my feet dry. Not completely warm, but dry. So that was very important. In the snow, this is something that I will definitely take. Okay. What are those? These are... Um, waterproof socks. Waterproof socks, thank you. Waterproof socks. Um, yeah, they are kind of a little bit bulky, but um, but very necessary. I will make space in my backpack for this. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay, my this was something else that I was using to go to bed. My socks and my booties, which oh, these are the best. I love this, but I didn't realize I didn't need this. This was enough. So I took, I sent this home to uh, all of this that I'm telling you that I sent home was in Kennedy Meadows South when I met my friend Sailor and she went through my backpack and helped me um, decide which things I needed to uh, send home. She had done the PCT two times, that was her third time, so she had a lot of experience and, and she helped me um, get rid of things that I didn't need. So that was one of them. This was also something that I took with me and supposedly this was to help me with the mosquitoes and I really didn't never, I wore it maybe once and it wasn't because of the mosquitoes, it was because it was a little bit, it was windy that day. So I, I used it but that was something else that I decided to send home because I wasn't using a lot. Um, I wore two pairs of socks. The, the toe liners, I started with toe socks, but they are too thick for me. So I bought two um, toe liners and this type of socks, what are they called? Darn toughs. Okay. So uh, that, that's all I needed um, for the entire duration of the trip. I didn't, did, I didn't get rid of them because I really thought, oh, I didn't get rid of one pair to just keep one pair because I thought it was important to keep dry socks in case the ones that I was wearing got wet. But that was not an issue. Um, my sun gloves. I used them a lot initially in the in the desert. Um, and it was like something new um, to me and I thought it they were cool and I looked so <laughs> like a hiker. But they really were not something that I really needed. And then they started to get too hot on me with the, with the heat. So that was something else that I sent home. I didn't want to use them anymore. Um, I got obviously my shovel that I used a lot. And my toiletry, I ended up um, taking, I think I had another bag. and something happened so I changed it for these bags these bags are really nice so I have my my toothbrush and, and tooth uh, things in toothpaste in here and all my creams and my brush and uh, some things that I thought I was gonna need like some medication um, some other creams um, so nothing special I got this somewhere remember with but I use the my headband I used it a lot I something that I will definitely take again um, this was something that I ended up putting in my backpack a book to read at night and I didn't think that I was gonna have the time and I thought it was just stupid to carry something that was so heavy 
but I got another one that was lighter it was thinner and I really enjoy getting into the tent and reading a couple pages and just falling asleep so I guess that was another luxury item that I had uh, my umbrella which I love I absolutely love and I will keep um, and take it with me again very light the lightest one I've seen um, a lot of I saw a lot of people's umbrellas and they were heavy and people were saying that they didn't want to carry anything heavy so they didn't carry it and then they were they, they wish they had not gotten rid of the umbrella because it was either rainy or too hot or too sunny whatever but I will definitely take it with me again. Uh, the polypus the system, beautiful. I will do it again. This is the easiest thing. Just go and drink and put it back. And I never had any issues. People said that they didn't like it because they couldn't see how much water they had and, uh, and that was important to them. To me, not really. My husband will always tell me, do you have enough water and then we'll look or whatever. I, I kind of thought more or less how much water I had because of how much I was drinking. So it was never an issue and the the filter was perfect. Never an issue either. We really like it. We'll do it again. Shoes. Oh my goodness. These are just the best shoes. Uh, light and they did the trick and I, I always carry them on the outside like hanging there so it was it never took any space and it was they're so light um i will take these shoes again too so they were very good my my butt pad oh i love this <laughs> i used them more than my husband all the time i was using it very very light too and i like it. Uh, my spikes necessary heavy yeah but necessary and um, used it all the time when I needed it but then after the Sierra we, I, we sent so this dark. back mm, this little bag was for all my um, electronics I had batteries I had two batteries and my husband had a big one um, there were times that we actually needed all of them because it was a uh, long long um, long time out there my um, flashlight love it absolutely love it light and we used it whenever we needed it we didn't do a lot of hiking at night but the, the days that we do did it but we used it um, this was my microphone for the for the wind to to help you guys um hear better when there was wind and to try to block the wind away from it i carry this a lot but then I send it home because I wasn't it, it wasn't that windy anymore so I send it home too. Uh, earplugs and ear, sorry earphones and all kinds of cables and electronics for my phone. This wallet also I bought it somewhere I think it was in Kennedy Meadows too. Um, I was just carrying my my money just loose here but I thought it was important to um, you know put it in here i have my permit here which they never asked me to show it to them i did offer it one time they asked us right and one time they yeah, he didn't really want to see it but they didn't really want to see it but i i had it handy so i i showed it to him but um i got my money my credit cards everything in here and and that worked really really well my my passport was here too so i never took this out of my 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 body because i always i was always afraid of losing my passport <laughs> but yeah that's the way that i kept it safe and then i had um this was my sunscreen um afterbite and um, repellent and that that was it that's it uh, my backpack which is the best thing ever very very light uh, as you can see, it's been through a lot. <laughs> it's in better days. <laughs> I had to patch it because it was ripping. Um, and that's, you know, that's the, the downside of something so light. Uh, it does rip, it does, um, 
damage but it worked the whole time I never it's not like I needed to replace it um, these pockets are awesome I put a lot of stuff in there um, I wouldn't do it any other way I wouldn't even put pockets I thought about maybe putting pockets here because this also um, you know you can also put pockets here but no this is better for me it always worked for me so um, and, that, and that was it, that's it. We had, um, uh, once we, we were ready to put uh, this into the airplane, so we'll put that into the bag, into this bag, and off it went. And that's it. I think that, uh, obviously, the only thing that I was carrying, it was one of the um, quills, which now we have them in those bags, so that they can air but I had it tied, tied, tied in one of the bags in my backpack. Um, beautiful backpack, I will definitely take this kind of backpack again. It was the perfect size, it was the perfect weight. Um, so yeah, I will do it again with this backpack. And that's it, thank you. Good morning, I thought I'd go over some of this stuff with you. Uh, I'm not sure where I should start, I guess I'll start with our Quilts. We started out with made enlightened equipment. Uh, it's called an accomplice two-person quilt, 30 degree. I custom ordered this thing, made out of the 7D material, so it's very light, but it's also not very tough. But it worked out fine. We didn't have any problems with it getting any rips or tears, and it's extremely light. It's worked out really well. We use this up until the Sierra. And then we switched over to uh, a ready-made, also in light equipment, zero-degree bag, which is much heavier, but also much uh, bulkier and uh, much warmer. And that got us through the Sierra just fine. And the rest of the sleeping equipment here had this uh, X-Ped. It's an ultra duo, long and wide, and it just was the perfect size for the uh, double wide quilt. Uh, we went through three of these things on the hike. Uh, the second one, uh, Aria was really good about replacing it because we'd only had it for a short period of time. But it, it got some leaks I never could get repaired. I repaired several, uh, very sm always very small leaks, but I never could find the last one. And they took it back and sent me a new one. So uh, yeah, we had some problems with these but I would recommend it and I'd use it in, in, on the next hike that would go on. So I think we're both very happy with this. Uh, we had the Z-Pex z, -Pex, z -Pex Triplex. It's labeled as a three-person tent, but uh, I think it really should just be a two-person tent, a large two-person tent. And we also got with that the uh, ground sheet. Here's the ground sheet that went with it. Also recommend this. We use this, I actually more often we use this more often than we use the tent. We use this a lot of days for lunch just to give us a place to sit and have lunch. So this was also very handy. Extremely light. All this stuff is really super light. Uh, one of the kind of crazy things that some people might think is crazy but I brought along a lot of vitamins and this is what my vitamin pack looked like and I would we had uh, other little packs that I would put vitamins in usually do about a week at a time and we had a uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, some good Dr. Berg's vitamin C and some uh, vitamin B12 and some zinc and some quercetin and some vitamin D3 CoQ10 and every day we'd take some magnesium and some D3 and some NAC and uh, also brought my little packets of uh, cream of tartar and uh, sea salt just to keep our electrolytes up. And uh, we didn't seem to have any problems, so we must have been doing something right. I don't know. Didn't uh, have any problems coming down with COVID like a lot of our co-hikers did. And uh, also we had some of this stuff we would take when we were in town. It's called Paragard. It has wormwood and clove and some other good things and it keeps the parasites under control. Uh, this was the wallet that I used on the trip. 
and all I carried in here was cash, driver's license, and a debit card for the whole trip, and had the same, basically the same package my wife was using for a, a passport and a permit, and some of that kind of stuff. Carried that in my fanny pack, which is right here. And uh, well, I didn't carry mine all the time like she did. I got tired of it, and then just for the most part, it was in my backpack. And uh, this was for the most part my my food bag, unless we had a bear canister. I mean, I would put most of my food in here most of the time, and it would, that would just go in my in front of my pack. And I had uh, micro spikes, which we use a lot. Definitely use those again. Here are the, uh, my trekking poles, and you can see they fold up really nice and small, very light. The uh, Lecky, uh, what do they call here, the platinum or something, black carbon platinum, something like that. I'll get the information for you all. And I'm sure if you watched the videos, you saw. This is what I was basically wearing every day. I wore it every day for six months. And then if it was uh, warmer, I would wear this. And if it was a little bit colder, I would wear this underneath it. And that's all I had. And uh, see, I started out in the, the hike with a pair of these Outdoor Research convertible pants, size 32s. And uh, they got to be too small by the end, so I had to, had to order an, another pair in size 30. I shrunk doing the hike. Uh, these were 30-34s. Uh, I didn't think I'd ever be back down to a size 30 waist, but I managed to. I ordered these uh, Z-Pax mittens. They're act back actually just, uh, you're supposed to wear these over your, your gloves. It's really cold. Never used them. So I don't think I'd use these again. And here are, these are some replacements for some of the, uh, the Z-Packs, I think they're called possum gloves, you, you know, you could use your phone when you're wearing your gloves, but those didn't last too long and I ordered these, just ordered these off Amazon and they were fine. Now uh, here's a replacement towel, because I lost the other one that I had, it was very similar to the one that my wife had. And this was okay. I picked this up, I forget where, Shasta City or someplace. And uh, extremely light. It doesn't work as good as a real towel works, but it, they work pretty good. They're really light. As far as socks go, I had, for the whole hike, I had two pair of darn tufts. And they lasted the entire hike, and they still have life left in them, so I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll use them on the next, the next hike. And I had uh, two pair of the Njinji, uh toe sock liners, very thin, and I always wore these together. A uh, pair of cheap sunglasses I picked up out of a hiker box. Use those. A buff here, I didn't use this buff very much. Used it a little bit in the Sierra when it was cold, but I didn't really use it very much. And this is kind of a heavy luxury item. It's a RAV power. Huge big wrap power. I'll put the uh, description somewhere in this as to what the capacity and stuff on it was. But we, a few times we actually drained all of our power by the, by the time we got back after some of the longer sections. And I've got the same uh, pillow here that my wife had, but mine died where it, the little thing here that's supposed to keep the air in is gone. So it's really hard to keep it inflated. You can blow it up, but it's, it's hard to get it working properly so I'm going to be replacing that but it lasted uh, up until I'd say the last couple weeks of the hike. Uh, got the same uh, gaiters that my wife had, the uh, ultra running gaiters. They, uh, they, they work fantastic with the uh, ultra long peak sixes that we were using. Uh, started out with the Z-Pax uh, gaiters and I would not recommend those. They're, I don't know if they're just too fragile or what but they all came apart within the first uh, couple months. I also carried this. These are tent stakes. They're lightweight. 
didn't really have any problems. A few of them kind of got a little bit bent here. You can see a little bit bent, but overall they held up pretty good. Uh, same sun gloves as she had. I think I wore mine a little bit more than, than my wife did, uh, but I didn't use them that much either. I kept one with me though. Here's a the old model Garmin inReach. I just have kept it because they're not cheap and uh, I bought this before the new smaller one was out. Uh, this is an expense that I would have rather not have had to pay because I think it was $37 a month or something and never really used it but I guess if something goes wrong it's good to have. Uh, beanie, very lightweight beanie. Same brand and stuff as my wife had. Basically the same uh, headlamp as she had, Nightcore headlamp, extremely light, works well. And I brought along this little portable radio here that I never used. So I don't think I'd bring that again. And just a pair of some basic cheap swim trunks. Uh, use these a few times. Sometimes do, for doing laundry and stuff when you're in town. Had my titanium spork. It's uh, Sea to Summit, I think was the brand on that one. Had the same hat that she has that converts also into bug net. I think I used the bug net maybe two or three times for short periods of time. I hated it. It's too claustrophobic. I feel like I can't breathe when I have it on, so I just put up with the bugs for the most part. And yeah, I've got the Z-Pax uh, Goose booties here. Wonderful. I would definitely recommend these and use them again. Got the Sea to Summit little uh, cup here. I didn't have very good luck with these. This was, was my third one and uh, within the last week before we quit uh, it was starting to get little leaks around it. Just, just on the seams it would start to leak. So I can't really recommend these but I don't have a good alternative either so I would probably buy it again. Uh, same z -Pax ultra lightweight umbrella my wife was using. Uh, she used hers a whole lot more than I did. Uh, I don't have a problem with the sun for the most part. Did you have to replace it? <laughs> yes I did have to replace it because it was in my side pocket and all I can figure is when I was hiking somewhere some brush that we were hiking through snagged it pulled it out so Someone behind me got a nice umbrella. I also carried some uh, lip balm, uh, chapstick type stuff. Reading glasses, in case these made it through the whole hike. Use them every day. Also have the uh, Z Packs of uh, raincoat. I agree with my wife. I don't know if I can really recommend it. I mean, we didn't really use them very much because we've got had very little rain, and uh, it just doesn't seem like it's put together really well. We had to tape up the seams and stuff on the inside when it was coming apart. So I'm not really thrilled with that. Here's another uh, one of the Z-Pack's little bags that I kept all my clothes in, and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, here the. Uh, the rain pants, I didn't have any problem with mine ripping or tearing like my wife did. And uh, so, so I can recommend these, but they're they're kind of fragile. You need to be careful with them. And this was what I used uh, whenever we were in town. I would always pick up some heavy cream and I'd fill this up with heavy cream and it would, that would last me for, I don't know, three or four days. But it would kind of turn into butter after the second day. But that was, uh, I used this in my coffee. And uh, I also want to talk to you about Yes, another luxury item that worked perfectly with the uh, with the stove that we had. This is the Jet Boil Stash French press for making coffee. And you just would boil the water, put the coffee in there, and you know how a French press works. After a couple minutes, you just press it down and pour your coffee. It, was, it worked great. Very light, and I had the same, the same jacket as my wife did, except I had 
part of mine out of the 7D material, so it was very lightweight and it also was very fragile. I caught it in the zipper on my pack. Okay, it, it just tears very easy, but it's so light, it's unbelievable how light this thing is and how much it compacts down to nothing. And really an excellent jacket. It was really, really super light and very warm, which is what you're looking for when you're up in the Sierra and it's cold. And the uh, same butt pad as my wife was using, the same uh, shovel, you all know what these are used for, and it held up just fine. And these are the Zero Shoes, we've got these at REI. Not the most comfortable things around, but they're great for crossing uh, rivers, and I think that's about all we ever really used them for, which when we had to cross some rivers and streams. But uh, I think that's pretty much everything I carried in my pack. Where's your pack? Oh, the packing. It's the Z-Pax Arc Zip. I can't recommend en enough. It's ridiculously light. We've got it with some of the options here, like the pad down here, and the uh, extra pockets on the side. And uh, like I say, I really, I mean, these pads here were extra. But I really can't recommend this thing enough. It's, uh, it's a great pad. Oh, here are the, uh, we have the Platypus closer system we call it. And uh, had a couple extra here for when we were in the desert that I don't think I used them after Southern California. Usually this was enough. I know some people complain about the taste of the water through the hose, but I, I didn't have any issue with it. Worked fine for me. I think that's it. Okay. Any other questions, let us know.